So in the first video where we introduced functions, uh, we thought about the domain and the range, and we said that the domain is the name for the set of all the possible inputs, and the range for all the possible uh, outputs. So in these examples we had, you know, people's names to their favourite colours, the names were the, dom were the domain, and the colours were the range. Um, and let's just think about that in the context of some mathematical or numerical uh, sorry, examples. So for example, let's take the uh, function uh, f here, which is uh, given by f of x equals 3x plus 5. Now the, the range will depend on, on the domain. So actually if I said here the domain was the set uh, which just contained the values 2, 7 and 11, say, well then the range is going to be the possible outputs for the function. So well, f of 2 is... Uh, is 11, f of 7 is 3 times 7 is 21, plus 5 is 26, and f of 11 is 33 plus 5, which is 38, so that would be uh, that would be the range. Um, if I said the domain was all values of x that's bigger than 0, well, uh, for 0 we've got 3 times 0 plus 5, uh, and we could, so, so which is 5, and we could get any value, any value bigger than that by just increasing x, so the range would be values um, let's say y is greater than or equal to 5 um, and if we think about the you know, a graph of uh, y equals uh, f of x here or of y equals 3x plus 5 what we're essentially saying is well okay well this is a straight line that goes uh, that goes through 5 uh, here y equals 3x plus 5 and the gradient the gradient is 3 um, if the possible input values of x are everything from 0 uh, upwards, then the possible values of y are going to be uh, all the y values of the, of the corresponding points, is everything from, from 5 upwards. So, um, uh, if I took the domain to be you know, all values, all real numbers, write that like that, x, this means x belongs to the set of real numbers, and then all the possible y values would also be all the all the real numbers here. Um, well, that's not always the case. Uh, for example, if I took a function like uh, g of x equals uh, x squared plus four. Well, again, if I thought about let's think about the graph of uh, of y equals x squared plus four. Uh, that goes through four here and looks a bit uh, looks a bit like that. Um, symmetric about the uh, y-axis. Uh, and so here, if we had, say, a domain uh, where, where we had all of the the real numbers, i.e., we can put anything into it, the only possible outputs are y values that are uh, bigger than or equal to four, it's four, and things that are larger. So even with all the possible x values, they're the only outputs we can get. And again, of course, if we just restrict it to the domain to a few values, like you know two and minus three, say. Then the range would be 2 squared plus 4, which is uh, 8, and minus 3 squared, which is 9, plus 4 is uh, 13. So, uh, different values there. Um, one other situation to look out for is, this, again, if we've got a function, say, uh, let's like uh, h of x equals uh, 3 over 2 minus x. Again, we could go through the same thing. I could give you some inputs and outputs. We could try and think about what the graph looks like. and that sort of stuff. But the reason I give you a function like this is just to notice that sometimes there are there are values that aren't allowable for the for the domain. So actually here uh, in the domain we can never have uh, two because uh, h of two would be three divided by uh, zero. Uh, so that's uh, that doesn't make sense. That's not defined. So we're not allowed to have two in the domain uh, of, of this function. Uh, similarly, if you had something like a function, let's say, r of x equals uh, the square root of x, um, if we uh, want a real uh, answer uh, to this, a real output, we've got to put, we've got to make sure that x is a positive number. Um, so you know, if I did r of minus seven, we'd have to do the square root of minus seven. And what does what does that mean? In fact, you can define that in in more advanced maths, but for the purposes of, of IGCSC, that's again not defined, so I couldn't have negative values, I couldn't have a negative value inside this square root, 
have to say uh, that would have you know those values have to be excluded from the domain so the only the biggest domain I could have here would be x is greater than or equal to zero and the range of values I'd get there again is uh, y is greater than or equal to zero because this means the the positive uh, square root so that's the domain and the range the domain is a set of inputs the range is a set of outputs and we can work out one from uh, you know one from the other either by actually substituting in values and thinking about it or perhaps by uh, sketching a graph